FIFA. There we go. This is Euros Vision, a brand new show bringing you everything to do with the Euros. We're going to be showing you what's hot and what's not. At Chelsea, we've actually had them since the beginning of the season, so it's interesting now that this is the official trial. And don't go anywhere because just like England, we've got a decent lineup. Love Island's Danny and Jordan have no problem scoring with the ladies, but how will they score in our trivia test as they go head to head? Hello and welcome back to IPL Soccer. I really wouldn't want to be in Gareth's shoes right now. So I called up my friend Jermaine Pennant to see who would make his Dream England lineup. Liam, catch! Hi guys, Jermaine Pennant here. <laughs> Ooh, that, so that was quite the conveyor belt of legend. I know, I know, just one after the other. Is it all sunshine, rainbows and packed out crowds? Or are we a very long way off female footballers becoming household names? Olympic Leon are going to be on their quest to retain their title. So what do you think could be done to grow the women's game in the UK? Uh, I think they're doing quite a lot, aren't they? Do you think if you went into extra time that you would have been in the final now? Yeah. Perhaps well, you can't name me well. three female footballers, so they're clearly yeah, not well, doing enough. A bit better. Is it like that? It's like Notting Hill Carnival all, all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but next week. I'll take the L. <laughs> okay, so this challenge is called Run for Your Life. Gareth should go with like one holding midfielder because then we can go more all attacking. And I think that that player is probably a deck from rice. I thought one of them was going to get their ass cheek ripped clean out because them dogs can run fast and they've got big teeth. And just to give you some context, guys, <laughs> these dogs go from 0 to 60 faster than Tom's cars. <laughs> How many United players are in the current England squad? Oh, this is an interesting question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to race day at the world famous Aintree Racecourse and we've got a hell of a day ahead of us. What did a day at the races mean to your dad? So here and there, you know, he loved Newmarket but equally Newmarket loved him. All a younger brother. I mean, he was I just mean... telling us about your Botox hun, so... Uh... <laughs> just oh Tom, in... you've had an absolute mare. It's Amy in... has thrown you right under the I bus. Am. So they're now coming up to the starting line and they're off. Can you get any closer to the action, guys? 100%. I'm definitely not going to need any lead in my saddle. <laughs> <laughs> not after the win. <laughs> Hello and welcome to London United's Rotiana FIFA tournament. Full time, 9-0, I kept a clean sheet. Better goalie, factually, than David De Gea. Yeah, I'll there take that go. all day long. Amy, take it away. Thank you, Richard. Yes, I'm here with Faisal. Hey guys, Amy back again with your final instalment of the week of the Transfer Daily. But for now, we may as well rename it the Bruno Fernandes Show because that Portuguese is still hogging all of the transfer headlines. I know that will make you happy as a Spurs It will make me very happy. <laughs> I'm in love with Angola. Who's the player? Okay, Nathan. Now we're getting to the quick fire round. Right. Are you ready? Kante. Shearer, Ian Wright, possibly the best footballers England has ever produced. Guys, check out this interview on TalkSport at another time. <laughs>